If you walked on to Grandeur of the Seas, you literally would think that she was a brand new ship. And I would put her up against any ship in the fleet in terms of going from a ship that was maybe a little bit more mature in her age to absolutely looking like a brand new ship. It was an opportunity for us to change the look, change the feel, get a much fresher, contemporary look. Uh, and I think we've done that very successfully and it seems to be a, a big hit. At the same time within the, uh, the stateroom part, uh, changing the, the soft goods and the fabrics and, and uh, tidying up the, uh, the furniture and adding the flat screen TV is, is also in line with that modern contemporary look and feel. So it does make a significant change, yes. She will be getting a, a nursery, all of the digital signage. She will also be getting really every single public area redone and of course the magical centrum. We looked at the, at the centrum and said, wow, this could be really something because in the theater we have maybe 30 feet height. Here in the centrums we have 65 feet. We said we wanted to produce a, what we were calling a centrum wow and somebody flying down from 65 feet sounded, well, that sounds like a wow to me. Every night of the week, there will be these pop-up experiences for guests with unbelievable music and unbelievable choreography and unique flying experiences with apparatus that's designed just for Royal Caribbean. And in addition to that Centrum Wow experience, sitting there at the base at the Centrum is a bar that we're going to be calling Our Bar. It's certainly an exciting and spectacular entertainment production they have planned there. And I think the revamp and the look and feel of the Our Bar We'll, we'll coincide with that, it should be quite nice. The general public areas will certainly be refreshed and one of the areas I'm particularly excited about is the Viking Crown Lounge with a, a whole new design package and decor that's been very updated. The dining experience is of course one major component of, of the revitalizations. We are very excited about the fact that we can introduce some of these very popular concepts on a ship that's really famous for us because it's been around for a while. The one that, of course, most of our guests know is Chops. Chops Grill is a mainstay for our guests as far as uh, restaurants on board. The Park Cafe is very, very popular, and it's just a nice alternative to the Windjammer. And then, of course, Azumi, which is our a la carte priced venue, which people really love. It's Asian cuisine. In addition to those, we have a chef's table, which will be located in the dining room. This is really taking what Royal Caribbean is known for, the innovation and the wow features, and bringing them to all of our other ships.